All right, AP Euro Kids. Um, this is your AMI weekly video here. Uh, this is so that we can go through what you're what you're required to do this week uh, together, rather than you just reading directions. So hopefully, this will uh, clear up any confusion that you might have. A um, couple of reminders: uh, the AP exam has been rolled back to one forty-five minute free response. I don't really know what to think about that. I don't think many AP teachers do. Um, could be good, could be bad. More than likely, it will be three short answer questions, I would imagine, so that they can cover more than one topic. Um, it can't be multiple choice, obviously, So we're and it can't be a DBQ. So we're down to either a long essay question or SAQs. Surely a long essay question would be out because that's basically one topic. So we can get three topics in with three SAQs. The problem with that is, of course, is that we've done almost a full year's work, and if it's three things you're not strong at, you're in trouble. There's nothing to make up that that work. So we have to stay very diligent, especially for you seniors who, you know, you're not required to finish this, but guys, surely we've come this far. You've worked this hard all year long. Let's get that college credit um, I think every one of you guys have a legitimate shot at the credit. So uh, don't let the staying at home and the seniors being done get you. Uh, let's finish this thing. Okay, we'll do it together. I help you however you need. All right. So let's go through and look at what we got in store this coming week here. So we're going to start it off with uh, unit one review. All right, we'll go there first. You got two videos by Tom Ritchie. He is the guru in AP Euro and in a lot of A push circles as well. Uh, the first video is going to highlight the Renaissance and exploration, the age of exploration, uh, which is pretty interesting stuff typically. Uh, the second video is Renaissance art. Um, and we just, none of us are huge art fans, I don't think, but um, it's information we need to know. I can see him getting dirty on us right here and putting art in on one of those short answer questions. That would be terrible, but we gotta be prepared for it, okay? Take some notes. They don't have to be ridiculous notes, but it is worth, I think, uh, 40 points, 30, 40 points there. So um, keep that in mind. That, you know, I don't want garbage. Let's not waste our time here. Okay. Uh, then the, the next big one is the review packet. And um, if for some reason that link doesn't work, it should, but I have shared them with you uh, as well. And when you fill out the packet, it's really a timeline is what it is. But I liked it. It wasn't over the top or anything like that. Um, basically, a timeline review. It's going to give us major events, starting with the Black Death. Um, it, countries, you're just going to list what countries were affected by it. And then the what caused it and the significance of it, its effects. You can make a copy of this, of course, and the boxes will expand for you. Um, this person is asked for color coding each event's date with the unit that relates it, that it relates to. So does it relate to the exploration? Does it relate to the new monarchs when you have uh, absolute mon like uh, Peter the Great and, and Louis the 14th? Uh, oh, sorry, that's here. Sorry. Uh, this is uh, new monarchs that are the ones that come after that. Um, uh, your Queen Elizabeth and people like that. Okay. And you can just create what color code you want to. Uh, in the box, and then you know you could color code the date or, or just a country box, whatever you want. I'm I'm fine there. Uh, so you see, it's got some big ticket events here. A lot of these should be fairly easy, to be honest. Some of them you'll have to do a little bit of research, and that's okay. That's where we're learning. All right, and you can type those down. If for some reason you want to handwrite it, you can absolutely handwrite it. I don't care. We know that you can retain a little bit more with handwriting. Whereas the digital copies allow us a little more flexibility to go back and change things. So I'm fine with either one of those. Okay. Uh, and really, other than that, you've got a one pager. That'll be the last thing. You know, I'm looking two pages, basically uh, two days for the, uh, the last assignment, uh, the review packet. The one good thing about it being at home is that the timing is yours and you can work ahead as far as you want. I'm just kind of, you know, pacing it out here. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday for <clears throat> that event. And then uh, Thursday and Friday for your one pager. We all remember a one pager. But now it's a, a unit one pager. 
So it needs to be something really good. The big ticket items arranged in a creative way that, that you can recall it. You want photo recall of your one pager. And I don't care you if you fit your one pager on, on a page of notebook paper, if you want to do a poster, I don't care. You take a picture of it, attach it on there, and you know it's worth 50 points. Uh, but just, just you just want something that you can just memory recall and help you on an AP exam, okay? Uh, my virtual office hours are going to be from 12 to 1 every day. And what I decided to do was break up my hours into four 15-minute segments uh, so that my classes aren't all over the place. I don't want European, European people in there with wor regular world history and everybody talking over everybody. I think it'll be better if we break it up in these 15-minute segments. So AP Euro will be my last one, and it's going to be from 12.45 to 1 o'clock. Uh, so you guys get to sleep in the, the longest. I took that into consideration that you guys being seniors for the most part and, uh, and done per se. I gave you the last slot right there. Uh, now, you can get in at any time you need. You can certainly email. I want contact with you guys. Um, I want to help you as much as I can uh, you know, to finish this thing out and get that college credit, okay? So please, please, please contact me if you need anything. Okay, guys, thank you, and let's do this thing.